So, you guys able to see my screen? Yes, we can see. Yeah, yes. So, like uh, last class, we discussed, right? What is perform testing? What are the tools in the market? Ambika, you are also there, right? In that class? Yes, I was there. Components in Loadrunner. Yes, yes, very good. So, Loadrunner architecture also we are seeing, right? So, uh, just your understanding point of view. You guys will be know from these points, or can I explain, or I can can I ask questions? You can just we can recap. Sorry. You can. You can this question is already explained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then, then that's good. Okay. So, uh, like, what is performance testing, Sunil? Yeah, performance testing is a non-functional testing to evaluate application performance under some load stress condition. In general, in terms of speed, scalable, stability, and also different types of performance testing available in the load test, test endurance spike testing. Okay. So, what are the tools in the market? Uh, how many components in load runner? Yeah, in the market. Yes. So available uh, so many tools yeah, in the uh, market available so many tools so like uh, HP load under J meter Neo load etc and the uh, most of the companies using in uh, HP load under because of it is their license tool and also we get a more more resource and also five components of available in the load under uh, view gen controller load generator agent processor analysis what is the uh, explain about the five components Yeah. The virtual user can record the business flow and also based on our requirement to get the script. After develop the script, we can uh, put in the lower controller in the controller uh, business uh, uh, flow and also recording uh, multiple uh, executing with the multiple users also different types of the testing we are using in the controller. After load generation, it is used to generate the load against the application. Uh, The connection between the controller and analysis. Okay. okay. Architecture, we need little more. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, will, I will explain again one more time. Okay, no worry. Yeah. Yeah, Abhika, like what are the components load runner? What are they? We have five components. One is virtual user generator, controller, agent process, load generator, and analyzer. Okay, could you please explain about uh, briefly one by one? Uh, virtual user generator is then one of the primary component where we to how we are going to set. Okay. Uh, controller the processor. How the What happened? You guys uh, said internet is good or not? Actually, your voice uh, breaking. So my voice is clear. Yeah, your voice is clear. Your voice is clear. But your voice is breaking actually. Oh yeah. Now we can continue. Okay. Prasad. Prasad or can I call Ambika? Prasad. Okay. Sorry for that. Yeah. No continue, problem. Prasad. So, uh, controller can uh, we can by through controller we can um, uh, upscale or down um, down downscale the number of users. Okay. As in processor, um, I'm not much clear like what it uh, do. Okay. Okay. No worry. Yeah. Then. Load generation uh, again. Uh, we have to define the time. What time? And what interval we have to spike up the load, and uh, we have to bring down bring down the load. And analyzer will uh, give us a complete uh, analysis. Okay. Okay, that's fine. 
सुनील इंटरव्यू सेम so your interview will be finished only 5 minutes or 10 minutes to 15 minutes okay and they will also not clear out uh, yeah, yeah 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 actually yeah i know some disturbance so that is why you are giving from the properly immediately base so no worry yeah yeah okay no worry no worry sunil okay so thank you uh, like i think no, next time i will try yeah yeah no problem no problem so thank you so you guys will be tried very lot uh, like okay because we have some lot of gap also okay but whatever maybe you guys will be some remember some thing okay that's a good thing so uh, like in load runner we have the five components in load runner what are there means virtual user generator and controller and agent process load generator and analyzer means using these five components we can do from the performance testing so if you like starting first point to fifth point like virtual user to analyzer you are if you are using these five components only we can do from the performance testing so first thing virtual user generator so what is the virtual user generator means it will be generate the load against the sorry like uh, virtual user generator nothing but it will be record the business flow and uh, after record the business flow it will generate the script statement purpose we can use from the virtual user. business flow nothing but any application any web application it is a facebook it is a twitter it is a banking application it is a insurance application so any kind of e-commerce application so these all will be web based applications so this application you want to test means using from the our virtual user generator we can record the that business flow so business flow nothing but just launch login and click on some button and enter from the details and log out so these steps we can call it as a business flow so this business flow we can record means using our virtual user generator we can record and controller so when you are recording the script actually what will happen only single user point of view we can record the script but actually performance testing means we want to execute with the multiple users so when you are doing from the multiple users how the your application behavior how the system is behaving there is any slowness of the any transaction so as same to the your application might be crossing or not cross or not we need to check so this call things we can't do in the virtual user generator because that is a single user point of view only can record and once your scripting is uh, completed in the virtual user generator that script we can push into the controller and we can design the scenario like how many users we want to execute how much duration you want to execute so means we can design the scenario and execute with the multiple user point of view we are using from the controller so we have the agent process also will be there that is also one of the component so what is the agent process nothing but it is the establish the connection between load generator to controller so uh, like we can go to the next is the load architecture then you will be know that okay what is the agent process like it is interface so it is the interface between the controller and load generator otherwise to establish the connection from the controller load generator to controller controller load generator vice versa so using from the agent process only it will be connection will be happen that is the agent process load generator nothing but it will be generate the load against to the application like which application you are testing that application you are giving from the maximum users of users so at that time need from the some cpu utilization some memory utilization 
some logs. So this all things will be stored in the as a machine. We can call it as a load generator. Simple. Okay. So once execution is completed, controller, we need to analyze the results. Like each and every transaction. So transaction nothing but launch is one transaction, login is one transaction, upload video, download video, charting, comment. So each and every step we can call it as a transaction. So this transaction, when you are executed with the multiple users, as per client, like client is expecting from the each and every transaction should be two seconds is the SLA of the client SLA. So that is what we can do in the analyzer. Just you need to analyze, okay, each and every transaction as per client, we are breach the SLA or not, you need to check. Like SLA is breaching or not. If it is the SLA is good, like each and every transaction within the two seconds, then your transaction time will be good. Then your job will be done. Just what are the transactions you are find right? That report you can send to the our client or our lead. Then if it is a client means directly we can send. If it is a in between for us is a lead will be there. We can send to the report to the lead. Then lead will be sent this same report to the client. Okay. So that things we can do from the analyzer. So everything is uh, like uh, smooth. It is going to the, uh, your job will be done. Then your job will be done. Maybe if any one of the transaction upload video is there. Actually client is expecting three seconds, but it is happened from the five second. Client will accept your results. No, why? Because they're expecting only three seconds. But we have done the execution. We are observed that our average response time of the thousand users is a five seconds. Okay, client will be never accept. Then our job will be again. It will start. Why this upload video five second happen? What cause of the issue? What is that issue? Like it could be CPU memory is not sufficient from the thousand users. Like Previous is the 4GB, 4GB CPU memory is there. Okay, you are observed that CPU memory it is crossing from the more than 80 percentage. So already it is 80 percent is gone, only 20 percent means the thousand user point of view that CPU is not sufficient. That will be clear for us. Then we can write to the our hardware team or our um, infrastructure team. So we are executing from the thousand users from X application, we are observed that CPU memory is crossing from the more than 80 percent. Could you please increase from the CPU memory? Then they will increase from the 4 GB, 4 GB CPU memory to 8 GB CPU and 8 GB memory they will increase. Then again you can do from the 1000 users execution in controller. And after that you can again analyze the results. Then next time you are observed that like the upload transaction response time is a only 2.5 seconds. Then client expecting is a 3 second. We are in the within the SLA. So you are in the within the SLA means it is good. Then your job will be done. So like this we can find the different kind of issues not only CPU. Maybe application side issue. Maybe DB side issue, database side issue, maybe network side issue. Okay, so we have the different different things will be there. So it is a CPU memory is fine. Then you can start the dig the issue. Next one, next one. So final thing you should be find the. This is the cause of issue. We need to find the issue only, but we are not resolved. We have the teams will be there. Application side means we have the development team will be there. We need to inform to the development team. Okay, we are observed. Application side also it is very slow application because of that only our transaction response time also high. So could you please change your side and you can get back me. Then they will change from the their core level things and all things they will done once again. They will told us yeah we did again. We can do from the one more.
so this is only your job like you can record and you can execute multiple users as per client expectation you are made the sla then is good if not what is that issue you need to identify and inform to the particular teams this is the database miss database team so like that we need to assign and we can do from the our job so this is the if you are doing from the any kind of tool in market we have different tools right neo load jmeter whatever may be we need to do for the same process scripting execution analysis so if you doing from the like see you can observe load runner jmeter is there for example load runner and jmeter we are doing from the same thing using which purpose we are doing means performance testing purpose so there also doing scripting here also doing scripting there also we are doing from the execution as a controller we are using we are using from the jmeter some different one but that is also using the from execution point of we are analyzing the results there also we can analyze what is difference then why they are developed from the different tools so based on from the application acceptedness like some java applications is a jmeter is good and is a open source tools anyone can download it anyone can do from the free of cost okay so these are the analyzer okay after that these are the components we can move to the load runner architecture because uh, okay prasad having some doubts we can clear and we'll go no worry yeah. yeah you guys able to see my screen yes yeah thank you so this is the load runner architecture so we know that we have the components we use an virtual user generator controller and analyzer and you can observe this ap ap nothing but agent process and lg nothing but load generators based on from the number of users we need from the more lg also so for example each load generator capacity ticks could be 100 but you are doing from the 120 then how many load generators you need see each load generator capacity only 100 120 users you are testing then how many load generators you need two right because 100 after 20 users point of also you need one more load generator and for example 201 users you are doing how many load generators we need 100 100 and 1 3 means three load generator we need so based on from the our load generate capacity how many load generator we need to use we can do from the this way so now you can observe your execution is doing so when you are executing the scale okay for example you are doing from the login scenario example i am explaining you are doing from the login multiple logins is happening then what will happen means using from the controller to load generator we are using from the agent process is a connection will be established the from controller to load generator so when you are click from the username password login the controller to the many request is happen right because you are doing from the multiple users so multiple users will be access so okay some users is going to the lg1 some users is going to the lg2 some users going to the lg3 like the load will be distributed from the here using from the our load balancer will be there that load balancer will be the load will be distributed from the load generator 1 2 3 like the load will be distributed from the simultaneously okay and uh, so what will happen we are doing from the login we are coming to the request we are sending the request the request is going to the lg1 same request it is going to the web server and web server to is going to the app server and app server to is going to the db server in the db server it will search the details like database side okay username password some user is kiran password is kiran 123 it will be there not there it will check 
it will be there it will send the response okay go to the next page means db server immediately it will send to the go to the next page to the app server app server to web server it will be the same response will be sent to the web server and web server it will send to the lg finally we will get from the response from the here means you are sending the request you are getting the response this round trip of request and response we can call it as a response time so last time i told some upload is taking from the 5 second how it is happening means so this request time and you are getting from the response time it is calculated so response time nothing but round trip of request and response that is the response time so that is only we need to measure our performance testing measure okay okay measure thing is the response time because we are doing from the testing perform testing means like multiple user point of view your response time as per client expectation as per our sla service like agreement we are meeting or not we need to check maybe you can observe sometimes You, you can open any application you can give from the username password wrong you will get from the username password will be incorrect how you are getting that is also you are sending the request from the here it will search this details it will not there okay it will send the okay not there not there not there no, it will send so but we don't need from the like negative things we need only positive positive nothing but it is a user name password will be there we are getting from the response that is only we can concentrate no need from the negative things from as a performance testing point of view so this is the load runner architecture so prasad do you have any doubts no i do not have any doubt just uh, okay. have one question uh, Uh, building the script right uh, the vision will do is it difficult yes. to learn or implement or no 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 it's, it's very easy it's not a don't write any code okay just playback just you can record okay for example facebook is there okay what you are doing you can do from the front end back end automatically the code will be generated after that just you need to do from the some scripting announcements why because the script when you are record that script it is a single user point of it will work but actual perform testing what we want multiple user point of view so that script we need to ready from the multiple user point of view okay so that scripting announcements only we can do we can't write any code also okay no worry from that so very simple and very easy tool is a load runner okay see if you don't have from the computer knowledge previous okay maximum some arts batch some because this is a very simple there is no language so just you can concentrate every day class and you can practice you will get from the good knowledge after class is completed you are thinking about all the okay i have good knowledge i can put from the more experience and i can get job that much of confidence you will get but one thing when means daily classes you are attending just okay i am attending daily classes after class completed i will get that much of confidence means not you should be follow me you should be do from the assignments and you can answer the questions every day you can do from the these things till end then you only get the job easy okay 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 so let's i will show the one recording also okay that is the okay up to this okay load runner architecture and after that 
we have the some life cycle will be there performance testing life cycle means you want to do from the performance testing lab means we need to follow the some steps poc proof of concept non functional requirements and test plan and workload model and test data script recording and announcements design scenario and test execution result analysis reporting and recommendation risk and mitigation so you can think about it just to be discussed from this all points you will be know from that script recording announcements where we can do just to be discussed we use that right very good design scenario and test execution where we can do control controller that's good Con result analysis and reporting and this all where we can do result analysis and analysis uh, report preparation or ourselves yes that will be results analysis we can do from the analyzer so means fifth to 10th points will be you are clear only we need from the these steps like what is these steps when we can do from the these steps i will explain from the next class okay uh, what we can do means just today i will record one scenario and just i will show to you guys okay i am opening like uh, one more thing like once you can install the load runner software we can see the virtual user generator and controller analysis we can see this th three but agent process also will be there load generator will be there but that will be we can't see here when open from the controller there we can add the load generator in between controller and agent process also okay yeah we we, we are using this sorry web based right cloud based uh... yes yes we can do anything cloud based also can do web based we can do mobile also we can do okay okay so once open the virtual user generator it will be look like this and this is the new script you can click on uh, this and click on add new script and here you can observe these are we can call it as a protocols load runner why all mnc companies using simple question if anyone asks so load runner it will support from the multiple protocols citrix devap java user odbc jdbc and uh, rdp and web protocol true client and uh, sap sap gui cbel so multiple protocol it will support based on the your application you can buy that protocol okay but you are doing from the web based application no need to from the this all no need to buy only just you need from the protocol you need select from the any web application you can select from the web http html protocol and after select that just give from the your script name so if you are doing from the scripting you should be know the like what steps i can record what is that script also we need for example we are doing from the some test store application okay test store application and uh, today i am giving from the date zero okay and just click from the create button so once you can click on create button it will open like this and now we can record means this is the record button just click on this record button and after that you can observe one pop up window will open you are doing from the recording web you can select from the web browser and here application is there application nothing but which browser you want google chrome or mozilla firefox 
or Internet Explorer, you need to select from the which browser you want, you can select. For example, uh, I'm selecting from the Google Chrome and this is also very important URL. So which application you are testing, you need to give that URL. For example, you are doing from the ICC bank, you can give from the ICC bank. You are doing from the HDFC, you are doing from the some Amazon, you can give from that URL here. So this URL and this URL, some username passwords and some test data. So we need to ask from the our client. OK, uh, we can ask them and we can use that data from the here. So now first before recording, we should be understand the application. OK, just I'm open the browser. I'm not started recording just manually. We can see the first and after that through vision we can record. OK. So this uh, software links and everything you are going to give us, Sujam? Yes, yes, I will provide. One minute. Yeah, 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 sorry for inconvenience. So uh, now we can see the URL. So this is the URL. OK, just some paste application sample application. So this URL we need to record. So like we can log in the application. OK. Like we are booking the pet. So before that we can log in the application and after that we have different type of pets. You can select from the any one of the pet and these are the pets different type of pets will be there parrot and finish. So you can select from the any one of this and you need to buy means we can add the cart and quantity you need to provide how many you want you want only one you can select one you want from the two then you can edit here and after that click on proceed to check out and here it is asking from the payment details and billing address so you need to provide the this all details and click on continue 
and it is asking from that please confirm from the your details like what are the details you are provided that details are will be correct or not just it is asking from the confirmation if it is correct then click on confirm see thank you your order has been submitted so this is the our business flow like to till pet booking okay after that we can click on the sign out okay this is the business flow now using this business flow we can do from the in our okay uh, using from the our tool okay so now you can observe so i close the all the browsers and this is the our url and we have the recording options will be there so just we can discuss this uh, briefly from the later okay just now we are recording only okay and uh, okay everything is fine click on okay and now click from the start record button this is the start record button click on this if you click from the start record button actually which browser we are selected google chrome it is automatically the browser will be opening so you can observe our which url you are provided that url it is displaying as same to the you can observe it is a uh, it will open from the like how we did from the manually it will be here also it will be same like that okay you should be wait from the until that application will open and you can observe here it is the events are increasing recording events means your application is responding properly so now you can observe launch is completed after launch what we can do login right so click on login button and after that what we can do we can click on the birds so click from the birds and here you can select from the any one of the product id like parrot or whatever and after that click on add to cart and after that like quantity click on proceed to checkout and enter the details and click on continue and finally you should be confirmed see thank you your order has been submitted like in this address payment is done and this is the billing address so everything is done and final will be log out sign out so your recording is done then we can this is the stop record button just click on that button see the code is automatically the code will be generating no need to write from the manually anything okay so now you can observe if you click on the action so everything is recorded so this is the launch url and you can observe login code also it is recorded see username password we are given j2w j2w this is the login information so you can observe this is not a, any code just simple language we can call it as a test script language nothing but it's a simple english only everything you can observe and you can observe so what you did it is a, see your selected product so this is the product id so means that step is recorded here and after that add to cart you have done the add to cart and after that proceed to checkout you are clicked that code is recorded and after that order action like we are given from the all details all details card type credit card expiry date billing address billing address zip code everything you are given all everything is recorded here and after that you are confirm the details like this is the details and final will be sign out so what are the steps you performed everything is recorded here prasad prasad are there yes so means what steps you are expecting all steps will be recorded so like this you need to record from the any business flow like is a banking insurance healthcare it is a e-commerce applications 
for anything application you can record from the like this got it so tomorrow we'll explain from the yeah. more about okay more okay and uh, today i'm stopping up to this okay tomorrow we'll continue from the classes and uh, we'll explain from the more okay thank you everyone and uh, we'll catch tomorrow okay bye yeah thank you bye